Predalien34 here with another ball python video. This one is a comparison video where I will show you the differences and similarities between a normal ball python, which I have right here, and a lesser ball python, which I will show later on in the video. Nah, let's begin. This is my normal female. She is a <clears throat> about a juvenile right now. She's a normal. Okay, she has no morph whatsoever. She's not head for anything. She has black coloration here, some light brown, oops. And then on the edges of that light brown, a little bit of yellow. Okay. Also, her belly, as you can see, is patterned has it's not really clean has a little bit of a uh, coloration to it as well okay now you can see her pattern as well a couple alien heads in there all right now the next one I will be showing is my lesser ball python This one is my lesser male. You can see a huge difference between the two. Let me bring my female back in for comparison. Oops, she's trying to grab onto the, uh, the bin which I have her in right now. Put her in here next to the male. Now you can clearly see the difference Get it. Oops, let me get out of the light there. Alright. Now, this is my normal female, as I just introduced, and my lesser male. My lesser male has more of a yellowish, light brown, kind of almost peanut butterish color to him. Mm -hmm. Bring him up to the camera. Sorry about that. Okay, so you can see. Another neat thing, I probably won't be able to capture it in this, but you see that stripe going down his head? That stripe, part of it actually carries on to his eyes. So, it's pretty neat. Another cool and distinguishable feature between her, which will be my normal and my male, him, is that... Unravel you. 100% clear belly through and through. No pattern, no coloration on it whatsoever. It's just all clean. Okay. Now, hopefully, they'll stay there in the shot. <laughs> oh, he's gone. The neat thing about lessers is that they're a co-dominant morph, which means basically if I was to breed him to her, 50% should turn out as him, and 50% will be her coloration, which is normal. So that's a neat, hold on, little headshot right there, elevate it up a bit. Right about, hold on. Okay, perfect. So that's pretty neat, but of course that's when we're talking statistics. It's obviously probably not going to be like that. Due to the fact that they can have, females can have an odd number of eggs or an even number. So, it all depends on what happens and it's never set in stone. You'll just get a 50-50 chance with these two. Okay. Right about there. Alright. 
back in. So, also, uh, quit trying to escape, girl. The sides, too, as you can see. The side, let's see. The coloration pretty much doesn't really uh, fade away as much clearly as the lesser, which I'll show you right now. See, you can tell this one's really fading away. While on the um, the female, it kind of looks like it just disappeared. Okay. Well, um, she's always trying to get out. She's a lot more inquisitive than my male, that's for sure. All right. Well, that's the end of the video, guys. Um, I hope you liked it. Uh. Don't forget to click subscribe and leave a comment if you have any questions or any ideas for another video. This has been Pretty Alien 4, 34, and uh, that's it, guys. See you in the next one. Peace.